Congressman Gary Palmer talking trade, China, and the economy during summer recess. He represents the area stretching from north of Bluntsville, south past Clinton, and includes areas like Gardendale, parts of Hoover and Vestavia, Chelsea, also Alabaster. New tonight, he sat down for an in-depth conversation with WVTM 13's Ian Wrights. Tariffs and the ongoing trade war with China. Congressman Gary Palmer tells me those are two of the issues coming up with constituents during his summer visit home. He says this is more than a trade war with China. This is about our nation's future. What we have to do is, is, is go through this short-term suffering and instead of looking at the next 90 days, you know, 90 day futures or looking at the next year, look at the next 25 to 50 years and, um, and, and start creating uh, agreements with other nations. The congressman points to the recently negotiated agreement with the U.S., Mexico and Canada, saying that demonstrates a willingness to strike a reasonable trade agreement between the nations. He's hoping for similar agreements with Japan, Vietnam and eventually India. But the tariffs are impacting people like farmers here in our state. I asked him about those short term effects. In some of my discussions with different uh, people in different parts of the economy, whether it's agribusiness or manufacturing, I think more and more people are starting to understand really what's at stake here and it's in our long term best interest. If we can uh, adapt to the short term consequences of it, the, the long term benefits are, are, I think, justify what we're having to do right now. Congressman Palmer says the economy is strong. He wants to see the U.S. capitalize on its oil and natural gas reserves, citing studies that show those exports would mean major government revenue and hundreds of thousands of jobs. The United States is literally an energy superpower. We have oil and natural gas reserves that are absolutely unbelievable, uh, uh, amounts that were inconceivable just a, a few years ago. And we're now the um, uh, in a position to, to be the, the the leader in exporting oil and natural gas. During our conversation, the congressman also talked about the job market. He's encouraged by programs like the Hoover Career Tech Center, aimed at getting high schoolers ready for the job market before graduation. Giving uh, high school students a chance to do something that, that they like to do, where they can make a good living, but also get their high school diploma. Then you've got Hoover with their uh, career center. And uh, you're going to see, Ian, you're going to see more and more of that. We also talked about gun violence and how lawmakers can tackle that issue. Much more of my conversation with Congressman Palmer tomorrow. I'm Ian Wright, WVTM 13 News.